So first a question, how many of you have tried getting a project job in IIT? Anyone has tried uh, responding to an ad or posting of uh, positions being available? Nobody. How many of you have done this outside IIT? Nobody has looked for a job ever? Anybody else? Okay, then you have to think hard. If you have experience in looking for a job or responding to a position, or from my point of view, looking for a person to fill a position, then there is a huge need for what you're going to do. Okay, so imagine the following problem. You finished your bachelor's degree or master's degree and you're looking for a job. And uh, let's say you want to come to IIT. You're not an IIT B.Tech or an M.Tech. You want to come to IIT. Get a chapa of IIT. So you're looking for positions open, ads for them, or announcements for them, right? Where do you go look for it? Classifieds or Times of India or web pages of various departments. Now a database person is required everywhere. Person with information system background is required almost everywhere. It could be chemical engineering, it could be aeronautics, it could be humanities, wherever. Right? So what we would like to have is a single repository of needs of IIT faculty for their projects. What we would like to do from the faculty's perspective is if they have a particular position to fill and the position doesn't have to be a database position, it could be a position for a, somebody to look after a transmission electron microscope, in which case it requires certain skills needed to operate the microscope. So what we would like to do is have a database into which people can deposit their needs, job description in other words, other words, in a structured and unstructured form together. The structure will talk about salaries and minimum requirement in terms of educational background or experience and so on. Salaries, what the current salary is, what the expected salaries and things like that. And the unstructured form will describe the problem that is to be addressed by the project and the, what the position itself entails. Follow me? Have you gone to monster.com, anyone? How many of you know, you know what it is? It's a job search site. We are essentially constructing a job search site. But we have some intricacies because of the IIT norms and IIT's needs. Right? Because we have certain departments, centers, schools, labs, all of which have to be taken into account in one shot. So that's from the faculty's perspective. They would like to have in one place all the needs of the projects identified once for all. And clearly when the job is filled with somebody, the position is filled, the job, the record should be deleted, at least from, visi from being visible to the outside world with a node indicating in the database that the job has been filled. Clear? From the faculty's perspective? Now things become more difficult from the seeker's perspective. Why? Because you may have taken this course, for example, during the, the waiting period, during the time you're waiting for a job to become open. So you would like to reflect that additional qualification that you have acquired during the waiting period in the database. After having posted your resume once at the beginning of the waiting period. So we would like to have a facility of updating your database continuously. And while you're looking for this job, you may also be looking for other jobs elsewhere. If you find a job, you should be able to delete, it, delete your entry there. Correct? System should not have lots of records of people looking for jobs which have been which are, which are not interesting anymore to the person, or the person may have found a job on his own or her own. So we need the ability to delete jobs, delete uh, records of people seeking for, looking for positions, either by explicitly allowing them to delete it when they find a job elsewhere, or timing out. What do I mean by that? If somebody doesn't update their resume once every so often, you consider that they are not interested in the job anymore. Okay, so from the seeker's perspective, the database should be as complete as possible so that it reflects their current strengths, background, expertise, courses taken, 
what they're seeking, their, their, their interests might have changed from one point in time to another, all of that. From the, look, from the perspective of the faculty member looking to fill a position, it should be updatable depending on what the needs, how the needs change. If a need has been filled, they should be able to delete it. How do you do the matching now? This is like almost like uh, shadi.com, right? You have brides and grooms, brides looking for grooms and vice versa. How do you do the matching? You have a database. You have a database of resumes. You have a database of jobs for which people are looking for position for people to be to fill those jobs. So who will do the matching? It can happen automatically or it can happen manually. How does it happen automatically? There is a, res a database of resumes. I am posting a new job. When I'm posting the new job, I can check against the existing resumes to see if any of them fit the bill. Once I posted an opening, <coughs> I know that that opening is still to be filled with the existing resumes. When a new resume comes, I compare the background of that new person whose resume is being added to the database against all the open jobs. See the, the matching that's going on? If a job is, is it clear what I'm talking about? So I have a database, this is on. I have a database of resumes of what is called bio data. This is all structured data, structured information with some unstructured comments <coughs> and things like that. And I have a, a database of job openings. Now I'm saying database, but they're all records or relations in a, in a larger database, okay? So now the question is, if I have this as my information infrastructure, what does it mean? It means that these bio data don't fill these, don't meet the needs of these jobs and vice versa. Otherwise they would have been married before. So now a new resume is added to this. R1, what do you do? You check the, the needs of this R1 with all the job openings that are currently there. If it is there, the response goes back immediately. I'm not talking in terms of queries and forms to be filled. I'm just giving you the high level picture. How you structure this in the form of queries and search with keys and things like that is up to you. I'm not going to prescribe that. Okay. Similarly, when a new opening is being added, J1, it will have to be compared with all the resumes and the expertise of the people who have posted those resumes. If there's a match, this goes back there. Otherwise, J1 gets added to this. In this case, an R1 gets added to that. Follow me? And when, whenever there is an update to be done, for example, you have a new qualification, new course has been taken, you go to your, you as a resume writer, go to your resume, Update it. Keep it always up to date. And if the system hasn't heard from you in, say, in a month's time, it'll send an email to you saying, are you still interested? If you don't respond, it'll cut you out. It might do the same thing for the job openings also. This is to make sure that the database is current and is active. Any entry that is still active. Okay? So that is a broad description of the problem. Okay? So good luck. <laughs>